dog, ranging from a large fine to time in prison. But what can you do to protect your dog if you're worried about it being attacked? Well, Bradley Davis and his wife Rachel think they have the answer. Here it is. They join me now with their dog, Tilly. Thank you all for joining us. Hello, Thanks Tilly. Uh, <laughs> um, what breeds Tilly, first of all? She's a puggle. So she's a cross between a beagle and a pug. How did you come up with this idea for body artwork? Um, basically, when we was walking over the park and walking down lanes, we were always sort of worried about, you know, bigger dogs coming up to her and maybe attacking her. And it wasn't until I sort of was looking at ideas, but one night Rachel um, called me in and was watching The Only Way is Essex. Guilty said, pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> You've just admitted that now. So. Yeah. Thanks, Bradley. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so I said, well, you know, what's the matter? She said, um, the guy, Bobby Nor Norris, one of the stars on Towie, uh, has had his, had his dog attacked over a park and killed. And, of course, I looked at Silly and I thought, you know, well, I, you know, I could never allow that to happen to our dog. No way. So out I goes out into my garage, starts looking and researching to see if there was anything that existed to protect dogs. And there is, uh, in America, they do do coyote vests or wild boar vests but obviously not suitable for domestic walking. Um, and that's to stop those small dogs being picked up by eagles. That's yeah. right, yeah, or coyotes attacking them, you know, bears, things like that. But totally Ooh. impractical for a domestic walking dog. Um, so I decided to start researching military, you know, fabrics that were sort of um, stab proof, bulletproof, and, and not quite and suitable. And big dog proof is the most important Absolutely, thing. Absolutely, because it's totally different when a dog bites. So let's have a look. So we're looking at the body armour now. How, I mean, how did you go about testing it? Right, so basically, as you can see, um, I mean, I've done various, various ways uh, testing it, um, shooting an air rifle at it right, to that's test what the armour. We're, we're looking at now. Yeah. Um, I also drove my wife's car over it. Um, okay, and, and did it happen? What happened? Well, what I've done is I put, I put nails, you can see the video now, I put, um, I put wood with nails in, uh -huh. and then I drove her car over it, and um, you can see I rest the car on it and then pick the jacket up and actually that, that's extensive testing that's, it is. that's the jacket right. there that I run over <laughs> okay so Tilly's wearing this body armor mm -hmm. now she's wearing this body armor now and as you can see um, that's for a little uh, little dog it's um it's really nice and warm in the winter but you can wet the inside in the summer keep them cool really light really strong um and she, she loves it I mean it works it works well. Do you feel more confident now taking Tilly out and about? Yeah, definitely. I definitely do. I mean, you know, my main priority is she's safe. Um, and this coat just, just gives us that extra protection, really. So, and the minute she sees it, she knows she's going for a walk, so yeah. she loves it. So if she squares up to uh, to another dog, uh, she should be okay. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's never a good idea to... to no, you know, no, I mean, not. we always... Yeah. I'm going to have to leave it there, I'm afraid. Yeah, uh, no Rachel problem. and Tilly, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having us. That's it. It's all from us at breakfast this morning. Dan and Louise will be back tomorrow morning.